Good morning, girls and boys. This is the 12th Sunday after Pentecost. And our gospel reading this morning is an amazing reading because it's about Jesus asking his disciples some questions. Some questions about who he is. And it should be real exciting because Jesus is always up to something unexpected. If you remember last Sunday, Jesus is an amazing person because he has a tendency to do the unexpected. So let's begin. Let us open our hearts and our minds and worship God in spirit and truth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. be with you and also with you let us pray grant O merciful God 
that your church being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 20. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said, John the Baptist. Others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Jesus asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said, I think you are the Messiah, God's son. Jesus said, God bless you, Simon. You didn't come to this idea on your own. My father put it in your head. I tell you, I'm going to build my church on what you just said. Here are the keys to heaven. God will honor what you do here on earth. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you know what this is? I bet some of you know what this is. That's right. It's a question mark. And what do we use question marks for? That's right. We put it after we write a sentence and we are asking a question. Ooh. You know, I know you get lots of questions asked of you because especially if you're in school right now and teachers ask you questions all the time, especially on tests. Well, in our gospel reading this morning, Jesus asked some questions, but he's not really testing. He's just trying to find out some information. And I'm one of those people who love questions. Now, don't tell your parents that, okay? Because they probably don't like to answer questions all the time. But I love questions because you know what questions do? They make our brain think thinking about what is being said and not just accepting it because somebody said it. You know, God has given us beautiful minds and we need to learn how to use them. And one of the most amazing things to do is to ask questions because that tells me you're really curious about what is being said. Well, this morning, like I said, Jesus is asking his disciples some questions. And he asked them the question, who do people say that I am? Hmm, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Who do people say that I am? And do you remember what the disciples said in answer to that question? They said, some people say you're John the Baptist, and some say you're one of the old prophets like Elijah or Jeremiah. But that's really not what Jesus was getting at, was it? You know, even nowadays, people have different ideas of who Jesus really is, don't they? Because some just think he's a prophet. And some just think he's a nice guy and did some wonderful things. But Jesus was curious. And he wanted his disciples to think. To really think. Have you ever heard people say things about Jesus that didn't really sound true? You know, all kinds of things about, well, you know, he really didn't exist or, you know, he was just some magician making, you know, magical things happen. Well, that's fine, but that just kind of shows us that they don't really know Jesus personally, right? So Jesus decided that he wanted to ask them, not only who do other people say that I am, 
But he finally turned to his disciples and he said, who do you say that I am? And I think that's the important question this morning. Because who do you and I say that Jesus is? Well, in our story, of course, who spoke up first? That's right. It was Peter. <clears throat> I love Peter. He's always got a quick answer, doesn't he? And sometimes they're not really right. But this time he was right on because Peter said that Jesus was the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus was so excited. But it was interesting because after Peter said that, and Jesus praised him, he said, you know what, Peter? You didn't come to that on your own. You didn't think that up all by yourself. But my Father God, he gave that information to you. Now, what does that tell us about you and I? Well, one thing is that God is always with us, wanting to help us learn and discover new things about who God is. But it also means that we don't have to be the smartest person ever because there are times when God's Holy Spirit gives us the wisdom we need and we can always ask God to have that wisdom. Now, <clears throat> don't think you don't have to study for a test and, in a te and before the test you pray, oh God, give me wisdom to answer these questions because that's not how it works. You have to study. But it does say that the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance the things that you have learned. So that's an amazing promise that God is with us and God will give us the wisdom that we need to love and serve him. <clears throat> then Jesus tells Peter how important it is to let other people know about who he is. But he first warns the disciples not to go out right away and tell everybody that Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior. And one of the reasons for that is during the, when this story happened, Jesus was just beginning his ministry and he knew people were going to get mad at him. And so he warned the disciples, don't be in too big of a hurry yet. There will be a time when you share who I am with other people. So we need to understand and learn from this that there are times when we're to speak up right away and tell people about Jesus. But we also need to listen to the Holy Spirit and understand that there are times when we need to wait and offer our understanding of Jesus when people are ready. So don't be afraid of loving God all the time. And sharing your story is okay. But don't try to force other people to understand who Jesus really is, because that comes from the Holy Spirit. So for most of us, we know who Jesus is and what he did. And we know all the wonderful promises that God has given us through Jesus, our Messiah. So as we go forward, keep asking those questions. Be curious and learn more than you know now about who Jesus is and what he's done for you and I. Questions are wonderful. So be curious and be amazed at our holy God. Let us pray. Dear God, you're amazing. Thank you for Jesus, the Son of God, our Messiah and Savior. Help us learn who he really is in all that he does and say, says to us so that we can help others learn about Jesus too. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who are in need of help, those who can't be helped, and those who don't know they need help. God hears us when we pray. God, we pray for those who have died 
and ask your com you to comfort those who mourn. God hears us when we pray. God, we pray for us. Guide each one of us and show us the path we should take. Strengthen us, keep us believing in ourselves, and teach us to be grateful for what we have. Remind us you love us and watch over us every day. God hears us when we pray. God, we pray for the world. We pray for countries in need or in trouble. We pray that you help us to keep the world clean, safe, and peaceful. Help everyone to get along and build friendships. God hears us when we pray. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Well, boys and girls, we've learned some amazing things about our God and what God expects of you and me. And we learned about Jesus being the Messiah, our Savior. And God has asked you and I to go and share the things we've learned and not to keep it a secret. Not like what Jesus told his disciples in the beginning, right? That's right. God has asked us now to go and share that Jesus is our Savior and Lord. So always remember, whether we are together or apart, we always connect with the heart. God bless and see you next Sunday. the great